Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day today. In this case, we're checking out a super cheap Les Paul. Dang, this thing is pretty. Let's check it out. Welcome back to the channel, you guys. As I mentioned, we've got a super affordable Les Paul style guitar in the studio. Longtime subscribers know I've got sort of a long running series where I try out, you know, really affordable guitars and affordable brands. So today we've got an Xavier. Now, this is a brand sold by Guitar Fetish, and a lot of you guys were requesting this. So this is my first time playing one. We're going to check it out in great detail. Now, the first thing I'd like to say about this guitar, other than the fact that it's very beautiful, is it's kind of specked out, which is a weird thought for a guitar that retails for 269 bucks. But according to the website, uh, the specs are pretty incredible. Of course, I'm going to do a full tear down when I try a guitar that I've never played before. I like to tear it down and see how accurate, you know, the specs actually are to the reality of the instrument. So stay tuned for that. We'll do that at the end. But here's the specs. Mahogany body, mahogany neck with a long tenon. Now, that's something you only get on the most expensive Gibson reissue guitars. So pretty incredible. Um, full thickness flame maple top. So we're talking about half inch to three quarter inch thick maple. Again, something you only get on much more expensive guitars, but according to the specs, that's what we have here. Uh, we also get coil splits. We also get their quick connect pickup systems. So if you want to change to a different guitar fetish pickup, uh, there's zero soldering. So again, I'm going to pull that out and take a look at that. I've never used that or seen that before. So there we go. That's kind of like the rough specs. Mahogany body, long tenon mahogany neck, uh, full thickness maple cap, coil splits, on and on. So we're going to check it out. And for $269, that seems like an incredible deal. Now, as for the rest of the specs, we've got unbranded tuning machines on the headstock with sort of Grover style buttons, very wide, very easy to use. And even though they're cheap, uh, they feel pretty good. Now, in terms of the nut, there's no specs listed on the website, which leads me to believe it's just cheap plastic. Now, I gotta say, it's actually cut quite nice. The edges of the nut match up perfectly with the shoulders on the neck, and the, the string grooves look good. The height is actually really nice, so it's, it's very low to that first fret, so when you press down, you're not gonna get any out of tune chords, so that's nice. And there's no adhesive or anything glooping out onto the fingerboard. So, even though it's cheap, I've gotta say, it's cut pretty nice. Now, as for the fret, ends moving down the neck it's pretty much like every other guitar in the price range i.e file marks all the way up and down now when you just look at it with your eyes it's kind of hard to see and and they feel nice that's the most important thing um, but it definitely doesn't have like that premium look um, on the other hand i've got to say the front faces are actually quite nice there's no grittiness it's just very smooth when you bend so, you know, that part, um, pretty impressed with that. You don't always see that on a guitar in this price range. So no grittiness when you're just bending and sliding. So that's very nice. Now, as for the rest of the specs, three-way switch up here. Pretty stiff, but I think that'll wear in over time, but it feels good. And then we've got their, um, their quick connect pickup system. So that's really cool. And then just standard, we've got the tunematic bridge and the stop tailpiece. And as I mentioned, volumes, tones, and these guys split. Now, one thing I am gonna say about the top hat knob here, very hard to get them to split. I think a speed knob, if uh, you know they upgrade this model or change this model, cause you really gotta get your fingers under there to split the coil. So that's the one thing I noticed when I was playing with this guitar, very hard to split it. It's not a quick process. And I think just uh, changing these knobs out to a different style that would be easier to grip would be good. Other than that, of course, we've got that flame maple top and I gotta say it's split right down. I don't know if the camera will grab that, but right down the center of the guitar, perfectly in between, you know, the fourth and third string. So that's really nice. And the binding, everything else looks good, but um, yeah. That's kind of like the overall specs. All right, you guys, now it's time to plug this sucker in and check out some tones. Now the pickups on this guitar are the GFS Crunchy Pat pickups. Obviously I have zero experience with them, so it should be interesting, but let's plug it in and check out some tones. All right, you guys, so let's take a quick tour through this guitar. We're gonna start with some clean tones and work our way into more and more gain. Here we go, let's start with the neck pickup. Thank you. 
really, really nice and warm and round tone. Let's split the coils. Now, as I mentioned, getting this coil splits up is just really, really tricky. You gotta get your nail under there. So a different style knob would be much, you know, much improved. Now I gotta say, very usable tone, like really nice. So even though you might not use them as like your main Les Paul type tone, uh, that coil split sounds really, really nice, I've gotta say. Really bright. Let's try both together. You know, really snappy kind of tone. So, you know, like I said, they might not be your, your main tone, but they sound really, really good. Okay, so let's try um, something just like kind of a bluesy breakup. So still really warm and robust in that neck. Sounds absolutely lovely. Okay, so let's keep going up with our gain. Let's go to sort of a straight up Marshall tone. I'm gonna go into the bridge and just hit some chords. <laughs> So just really, really biting, sounds really nice in the neck pickup. You know, just tons of overlapping uh, frequencies and just overtones, sounds really, really nice. And in the bridge, like I said, just, you know, beautifully biting. <laughs> So, I mean, so far these pickups are handling all these different styles quite well. Uh, let's go to even some more higher gain, do some riffing. So there you go, that's kind of a brief tour through these, this guitar, um, you know, through a ton of different gain stages. And I've got to say, you know, sounds really great. I like these pickups and overall the splits I find really usable. So really great tones. All right, now that we've heard this guitar in isolation, it's time to throw it into a mix. I'm going to jam over a backing track. A link to the track, as always, is in the video description below. It's time for the one minute solo.
All right, you guys, it's time for the teardown. We've got the guitar up on the desk. Let's open it up and check out, see if we can see the tenon joint, see if we can, you know, see how thick that maple top is and all that kind of fun stuff. So, you know, it's always interesting to see how accurate, uh, you know, manufacturers uh, list their products as, especially sort of in this lower, uh, really affordable tier. So let's just pull off this neck pickup and take a quick look underneath. And I also want to check out that quick connect system too. I mean, when you start adding up all the features on this guitar, it's pretty incredible. So we just want to see if, uh, yeah, if it lives up to that billing. Now I believe on the main section for the Pro 500s, they list the fingerboard as um, rosewood. And on when you actually dive into this specific model, it says it's dark walnut. And to me, it doesn't quite look like rosewood, um, but not quite as light as like pow ferro or something like that. And yeah, I've got to say these, these frets are actually shined up decently, uh, decently nicely. And the inlays all look centered. You know, there's nothing twisted or anything. They're kind of like uh, split diamonds or kind of like a cross diamond, uh, you know, inlay, very nice kind of a compliment that guitar really nice. So anyway, I'm going to see if I can just pull this neck pickup out. Obviously I've got the string slackened off, but not removed. So here we go. So I'm just going to see if I can make sure that these screw ends do not mar the finish. I could just remove them, but I think I can get a good view in here otherwise. Okay. So it is shielded. So that means I'm going to have to go through the shielding uh, to see if I can see the different uh, wood levels um, in terms of how thick that top is. That's the first thing I wanna see. So I'm gonna come back and kind of scrape down some of that, uh, the shielding paint and see if I can see what's underneath. All right, you guys, so I've switched over to a macro lens and I've scraped off, you know, the shielding paint off this side of the pickup cavity. And yeah, they're right, check this out. We've got a very distinct line between the mahogany and the maple. And here you can see there's at least half an inch of, you know, solid maple. And of course, you know, the, the full thickness would be at the top of the carve here. Um, but yeah, a very distinct line. So very happy about that. Uh, I mean, 269 bucks, you get the full maple. There's no veneer, um, absolutely wonderful. So from that standpoint, that is perfect. And the little jack here is, I'll see if the camera will grab that. There it goes. Um, this is your quick connect. So all you have to do is plug this right into the jack on the pickup and you can swap pickups even with the string on. So I think I might actually try that. So anyway, um, so far so good. Uh, we've got the full thickness cap. Um, let's check on that tenon. All right, so let's check out the tenon. Now with a long tenon, the base of that mahogany neck kind of comes into, I don't know, like halfway through the neck pickup. And here I can see that it stops uh, basically right here. You can kind of like go right down and feel the back of the guitar. So the tenon stops here. Now with a short tenon, I believe the neck pickup route is separate from the base of the neck and there's a piece of mahogany that goes through there and you can't see the, the back part of the neck at all. So I'd, I'm not sure I would call this a long tenon, but maybe it is sort of like a high hybrid or a medium tenon. Um, you know, people who know more about that than me can maybe leave a comment in the section, uh, in the comment section below. But yeah, as far as I can tell, I mean, obviously there's, you know, a good four and a half inches where it's glued in. So it is a very solid uh, neck joint, but I'm not sure it's a, a, a long tenon as they mention in the traditional sense where, you know, yeah, that bottom of the neck comes like right underneath that neck pickup. So there you go. That's what it is underneath. Now, before we go ahead and close this thing up, I do want to try a pickup swap. Now, you guys know I love my Filtertron pickups. So we've got a GF Tron with the Quick Connect system right there. Hopefully the camera will grab that. So here we go. Start the timer. We're going to do a pickup swap. All right, connections made. We're going to just slip it underneath the strings and we're done. Other than, of course, just screwing it back in. So that's how long it takes to do a pickup swap with the strings on. You know, I don't know if that was even 20 seconds. So, so slick. Now I'm going to put this thing back to stock, but I think in the future I might uh, swap the pickups permanently on that, but so easy to do. All you got to do, there we go. No soldering, no connections on the inside. I'll put the stock pickup back in. So again, we're just going to take that and slide it into the jack because I actually do love the way 
um, the stock pickup sound. And three, two, one, done. Oh, wait a second. I've got that twisted around. <laughs> but easy enough to fix. There we go. Back to stock. Dunzo. And uh, yeah, super easy. I've got to say high, high, high marks for this quick system, quick connect system rather. Uh, love that. And finally, let's take a quick look into the control cavity. Now on the specs, they listed them as alpha pots. And here we can see they're small, dime sized uh, and unbranded. So that's, you know, one discrepancy uh, between the specs and what is actually in the guitar. Um, but, you know, I've had good luck with small pots. I've got, you know, had guitars for years and years and never had a problem. Um, but it is a discrepancy. They aren't, you know, as far as I can tell, alpha pots. Uh, these are your two coil splits and then your volume. So there you go. That's a quick look inside the cavity. So here are my final thoughts on the Xavier Pro 500. Well, I gotta say this guitar is a very good deal. It offers exceptional value. Now the only flaw I could find on the entire instrument was a little finish gloop right here on the top of the fingerboard binding. I'll take a shot for you guys. That's it. There's a little finish gloop here. That's it. You know, it plays really nice. It feels good. Um, other than that, you know, there's a few little spec things that didn't quite line up. Like it says it had alpha pots and it, and it just has unbranded pots and a few things like that um, that could be upgrades maybe for somebody in the future. But this is ready to go. I mean, you can just plug it in and get some really great Les Paul type tones. So very impressed with, you know, the overall construction, the tone, um, you know, the playability, everything is super nice on this. And I've got to say like the finish, just love that blue burst and the flame uh, top while not like insanely flamey, it's beautiful. And again, 269 bucks. So overall, I think this guitar does deliver um, on its promises of being a guitar worth more than they charge. So very nice guitar, very playable, beautiful, great value. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, be sure to do so. We're just about to roll over 600,000 subscribers. So be sure to subscribe. Other than that, I will link to this guitar in the video description below. And if there's any other brands you guys would like to see me, you know, try out on this channel, just drop them in the comments. I'll check them out there. Other than that, have yourself a great day.